Well, Carl, what are uh, your immediate thoughts after that one? Um, yeah, look, we're disappointed to take nothing from another home game. Um, and, you know, um, sums our season up. Um, we're not, um, you know, play some um, good football at times, but just not long enough. Um, always sort of um, chasing games as well, which make, puts a bit of pressure on ourselves. And, you know, in the, the day, we're not, I suppose, um, at the level that we hope to be at or expected to be at. You mentioned chasing the game. Obviously, the double substitution at half time brought some, some new life into the side and rewarded with an early goal. How disappointing then was it to concede so soon after, albeit, you know, possibly uh, not sure Nick could have done much else there with that um, penalty decision? Yeah, look, as I said, we. Uh, made some some changes because we, we we needed to. Um, we worked hard and got ourselves into the game, and then you know we um, just you know leading up to the penalty, we just didn't defend the long ball on the halfway line um, and allowed them to get into our box, and and that's what happens. Um, obviously, three uh, big names are missing from the lineup this week. Issa, you knew you had plenty of time to prepare for. How long did you have time to prepare for? Um, you know, Ryan and Stefan, I mean, they said they're out with the illness. How long did you know? Yeah, look, um, we were hoping they would both get up for the game. Um, but in the end, um, yeah, they just both couldn't make it. Um, Steph was out early in the week and we thought he'd get back, but the, the illness just didn't, um, he couldn't recover from it. And, and Kits went out later in the week. So, um, yeah, it's... Yeah, unfortunate, but um, you know we have to. Um, you know the players that go out there have to do the job. Carl, um, just the change at halftime, uh, Austin and, and Harry coming off. Was that anything um, injury-wise, or was that tactical changes? Yeah, look, I um, we needed to have more directness from our wide players, um, and you know that's what Nesta and. And Benny sort of brought, and they, you know, the first 20, 25 minutes, uh, both of them did quite well. Um, and then, uh, you know, we just didn't keep pushing enough in that second half. Was there frustration on the first half that maybe your team was a little bit too passive on the ball? I think there was a few times maybe um, Bovelina had the ball a couple of times, and maybe he could have just played a little parabola ball in behind, maybe didn't, was a little bit cautious. Was that something you stressed at half time? Yeah, look, I, I think that's, you know, it happens when you're not um, in, a, in a, a position that we're in, um, that you don't um, play forward passes that you would normally make because you lack that little bit of confidence. Um, and it was just unfortunate, you know, it's unfortunate that we're in this um, position, but we've got to keep our heads up and, and keep pushing forward um, and keep um, yeah, being more aggressive. And, and that's what, you know, we tried to go into the game being aggressive. That was why Austin and, and Harry played, to be more aggressive with our pressing, um, even though, you know, it was difficult conditions. But, um, you know, there's no real excuses for, for where we're at. We just, at the end, we've got to face up that we're um, not at the, le at the level that we need to be at. And just victory, a very dangerous team in transition. It felt today that they were able to, to really play that game very well. And particularly, I felt they broke your press down probably probably a few more times than you would have liked as well. Just with the pressing, you stressed that a lot. Did you feel like maybe it was a few times where your kind of front six would go, they'd go and close down the ball, and maybe the back four is maybe too deep and there's, and there's a bit too much space between the lines? Yeah, look, it, it's one of them. We know, um, you know, victory play a lot of long balls um, to try and get in behind you. We were aware of that um, and we did some work with that. Um, and then you get sort of caught in a, um, you know, when you're lacking that confidence of not squeezing at times, dropping off at times. So, it, um, and we didn't want to um, get the too too stretched. And at times, you know, it was too many um, second balls that we just didn't deal with in the in the middle of the park. And just last one for me, uh, Nesta's impact off the bench. Um, last two home games, I think nice assist against the Wanderers here, and then and then obviously the goal here. You must be pleased that he's kind of slowly getting back to the level maybe he showed at the start of the season? Yeah, look, um, it's something that we have to remember for all of our young players, they're not going to always be at their best. Um, they're going to have those inconsistencies and and it's important that we, you know, just keep working with them to to get to the level that they um, need to get to. And 
Carl, um, your three outs this week are actually three players that have been captains of Adelaide United. How tough is it, I guess, to lose not just the quality but the experience of these players for a game like this where you really require it? Yeah, look, um, it's something that we have um, need to get better with our experienced um, players and I suppose looking forward that's something that we need to have a good look at and um, what players we bring into the club. Um, we have a, quite a few players that are out of contract um, so it's important that we um, you know looking ahead make sure we um, get a, a, a stronger squad that can um, fight for, for finals football. And speaking of out of contract, um, James Dellin was kept very busy tonight. You've praised him highly in the past. Is this um, a goalkeeper you're thinking of moving forward with or is that not a decision you're making just yet? Yeah, the, all these um, decisions are in the process. Um, so, look, I suppose um, as the season reaches a, a close, we'll, we'll be in a better position to, to answer those questions. And unfortunately, this um, defeat equals, or I guess, breaks a record winless run for Adelaide United during its 20 year history here at Hindmarsh. You mentioned how tough it is when you're low on confidence. How do you change something like this? Because it doesn't seem easy from the yeah, outside. Yeah, look, yeah, we've been um, trying to make changes the last few weeks, um, um, changing the way um, you know, we train, um, changing, trying to and change the environment for the players to. Um, to try and switch them on um, and it's something that we you know just have to keep pushing forward keep um, yeah there's not, not much more we can do you can't change everything overnight obviously especially when you're in a tough run of form like this if there's one thing that you would like to see different from this group of players in the next week or two what would you like to see them do differently from them yeah um, make the most of our opportunities that that we create um, and you know we had some good chances to, um, tonight but we just didn't take them just building on from Antonis's point there are you worried that this form will continue into next year no not at all um, you know that's a long way away yet and and I think um, you know we have to have a look at you know how we've gone about with the squad for this season um, obviously it hasn't um, yes we've had some late outs and late transfers that have disrupted the um, the squad, but there's something that we need to make sure we um, get right moving forward. Javi Lopez was captain tonight. What's he like around the track in terms of his leadership? Yeah, it's fantastic. You know, he, he was captain of a of a, a big Spanish club, so um, you know we, we know that. Um, and Javi is is great in the in the change room. He's very good with the young players, and um, you know I, I thought again tonight he was he was good. Stefan and Ryan, they're definitely back next week? They should be. Um, as said, we were hoping that we would have got them for tonight, but um, um, we just have to wait and see how they, how they are. As a former player and now head coach at Adelaide United, is the game versus victory ones you look out for at the start of the season? Um, yeah, look, I, I think they're, they're great atmosphere games, aren't they? Um, the rivalry is quite fierce and... Um, you know, it's disappointing that we didn't send our fans home happy tonight. Um, but that's something, um, you know, we have to um, take. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. No worries. Cheers.